the Shalom. Want to start off saying, Kaa Allah Imla, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wacha Kudash. Which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thaumash and Akaba Allah has Karim, Shai Asha Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and will wear. And Shalom Wa Ahal Ba'kaya, Shai Asha Allah, which means peace and love. To the leg of Israel, come back in through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemashah with another lesson on the brother Anna from the JMS Memphis camp. I'm on 15 minute break. Um, less than 15 now. So, um, Lord willing, I'm just trying to get straight to the point. You know, Lord willing, this be edifying lesson. You know, basically, the lesson on basically going to safe haven and under the wings of Yahweh Shemashah is going to be. Safe haven, you no. Know, so we go look up the, um, the dis, you know, definition of safe haven from dictionary dot Cambridge dot org. On what safe haven? It said a place where you are protected from harm or danger. Second definition. An officially protected place in an area of military activity or any safe or peaceful place in a dangerous area. So, right, that pretty much it on safe haven. A place where you are protected from harm or danger. This is Psalms 57 and 1. Be merciful unto me, O Yahweh Shemashah, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusted in thee, yeah. In the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Which is going to the second death, the destruction of Babylon the Great, America. This place is getting destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You see? We said, yeah, in the shadow of thy wings will I make that refuge is going to the chariots, you know? The chariots. Until these calamities be overpassed, right? Until these um, evil times, danger, be overpassed, man. You know, perilous times, man. That's what we head into, man. In the name of the Lord, that's safe haven. Because what it say in Proverbs 18 to 10? Let's grab that. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashah, is a strong tower. The righteous one into it, and it's safe, man. You see? Psalm 57 1. Be merciful unto me, O Yahweh Shemashah. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trust in thee. Yeah, in the shadow of thy wings where I make my refuge until these calamities be overpa overpassed, man. Psalms 104 3. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters, who make it the clouds of chariots, who walk upon the wings of the wind. You see? These chariots, the shadow of thy wings, you know? Look at Isaiah 26 and 20. It said, Come, my people, enter down to that chambers and shut that doors about thee. Hide that self as it were for a little moment until the end of the nation be overpassed. What end of the nation? You know, the Lord of vengeance, the Lord destroying this place for a little moment, man. It said, For behold, the Lord coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also should disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain, man. So we, hey, enter down into that chamber to talk about the, uh, the, the chariots, the so-called UFOs, man. And it's evident now, you know, that the UFOs, so-called UFOs are real, which goes back to the Bible, man. This is how we going to escape. This is safe haven, you know. Because what it say in Job, I think this one next, let's see. Job, Job 5.19. It said he should deliver thee in his trouble. Yeah, in seven, there should no evil touch thee, right? The seven trump. So under the Lord wings, you know, the shadow of his wings is the is the chariots, you know? This place getting destroyed. Well, that's why you read in the book of Revelation, he saw it is a sea of glass mingled with fire, man. Into down into that uh, chamber. Come come up here though. Let's grab that revelation. 
That's why you get I, I saw new jewels coming down from heaven. Let me see. Revelation 11, 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying to them, Come up hither, and they sent up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Wait, in the cloud, man. Who make the clouds his chariots? The Lord come back on the cloud, Revelation 1 to 7. You see, come up hither, and they're going to be in a Hebrew tongue. You see? So that's plain and simple, man. And the Lord said in, in verse 4, And I heard another voice from Heaven saying, come out of her, my people, which is who? The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know, come out of her, my people. What? You know, detach from this place, man. Because this is a natural risk. It's going to destroy you with a sort of destruction, man. That ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not of her plagues. What is the plague? What is one of the plagues? The thermonuclear uh, fire, man. The lake of fire, this place getting destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You know, the second death. You know, Zechariah 14 and 12. So let me read Job 5 and 19. Got five minutes left. It said, He should deliver thee and says, Trouble, yeah. And seven, that should no evil touch thee. You know, when they let again beam up. You know, I think that's Matthew, right? Yeah, Matthew 24. And 31. And he should send his angels with a great, great sound of a trumpet, and they should gather together his elect from the four winds for one end of heaven to the other. You see? The chariots, man. The chariots. They get first Thessalonians on that note. First Thessalonians 4 and um, 17. 17. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. How are we going to meet the Lord in the air? Doesn't mean we're going to have Michael Jordan hang time or some shit, you know, jumping 10 inches, you know, off the ground. No. We're going to be beamed up. And Esau knows that. He put that in commercials. He put that in um movies. No. Or what commercial was the um the Foot Locker commercial, the Week of Greatness I believe, and so on. It's other movies that Esau know. That's why you get um. Wisdom Solomon five and one. Then should a righteous man stand in great boldness. The, the point of verse two, but I'm gonna read one. It said, "Then should a righteous then should a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him." It made no account of his labor. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear and should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, man. They're going to be amazed when they seen the so-called niggas, the spicks, the wetbacks, the savages, you know, the minorities getting beamed up, you know, not being part of the second death, you know. Because when the Lord comes back, he's doing two things. Destruction, de, uh, destruction and deliverance, man. Which side you want to take part in, man? You know? He said, yeah, in seven, uh, he should deliver thee. Job 5 and 19, man. So let me, uh, 17, uh, meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is our escape. This is our ticket. Not a plane ticket. This is, this is how you're going to escape the nuclear missiles, man. You know, and you niggas, and niggas don't have bunkers, you know. They're for the elites, the Rothschilds and shit. But guess what? They're going to be the first fruits in slavery. You know, we're going to call, we're going to be turned to hunters. You see? So that's pretty much it. Hey, let's get Psalms 91. Jump a wine in it, you know. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, you know. What the secret place? This this truth, man. You know? It said, I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge 
in my fortress, my power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth should be that shield and buckler that should not be afraid of, for the terry by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. This going to the nu nuclear missiles. You know, because the Lord going hey, to deliver his elect. He said he know how to deliver the just out of the ungodly, man. You see? Verse 8, only with the eyes should they behold and see the reward of their wicked. And that's what we are um, patiently waiting on, man. You see? With that Psalms 15 and 10. I read on um, 14. It said, um, because he has set his love upon me, deliver. It's like, it said, therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high. That's that strong tower. The righteous one and two are in the safe. Because he had known my name. You see? The name is South Haven. You see? The Lord say he said a man should be a hiding place from the tempest. That's the elect man. You know, he will make a man more precious than fine gold. Why could we have known his name? Zechariah 13 and 9. Hey, I'm hey, I'm close on that. But let's continue reading. He said, He should call upon me and I will answer him. And I and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. You see? Why? Because we have known on uh, your name. He said, um, written the uh the most high and the only begot the only son name, Revelation 14. Man, I wish I had more time, man. You know what? I'm just sitting in this car, man, you know. Revelation 14, 1. And I look and lo, a lamb stood in the Mount Zion with him 144,000, having his father's name within their foreheads. Because once they let get sealed, it's over with. Game over, man. Destruction coming. Revelation the seventh chapter, man. Having the father's name and the only begotten son name. Yeah, how about your mouth shy? You know, having that mark at the Y. You know? See, I'm going to close on Zechariah 13 and 9. I got over you eight, you know. It's saying this is gonna pass there, and all the land said the Lord, two parts therein should be cut off and die. Why? Right? Cause that's not gonna be part, you know, in the deliverance. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. They're gonna die on this side, then come back in the kingdom of heaven, you know, and be in that right mind, you know, cause they still Israelites. You see? Romans 11 26. It said two parts therein should be cut off and die, but the third should be left therein, and that will bring the third part through the fire, and we'll, and we'll find them. His silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They should call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they should say, the Lord, your how about your mouth shy, is my power. You see? So under thy wings, under the Lord's wings, is safe haven. It's, 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 you know? I can't get my words out. <laughs> Saying here my tongue. But hey, that's pretty much it. You know? So, uh, what, hey, Lord willing, he was edified once again, give our praises. Under glory to you, how about him? I was shy about him. Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great minstone, teaching with well. And peace and love to the elect. With that, Shalom, Kormash, Allah, Wa, Baba, Allah.